Hi, my name is Randy Siebold, and I am Vice President of Education at Weimar Center for Health and Education and Dean of Weimar College. And uh, this morning I want to introduce to you Christina Harris. Dr. Harris, how are you doing? Good, very well. Good. Ta thanks for taking some time to join me, and we want to uh, just get to know each other a little bit and have a chance to uh, chat here. Um, now, you are uh, working in chemistry, uh, teaching chemistry classes here at Weimar College. Right, right. And yeah. I teach general chemistry and organic chemistry and biochemistry. Okay. So those are, are those fun kind of classes for you? They are. They, you actually enjoy chemistry. I, now, I don't mean to say it in the sense that other people shouldn't, but maybe not everybody does. Oh, I really, yes, I do enjoy <laughs> chemistry. Ever since high school, it was, uh, became a passion. Kind of got into the chemistry mm -hmm. thing. So what is it about chemistry so much that's so fun and exciting? Um, it's like uh, solving little puzzles and seeing how the world works. And I was always amazed um, in doing research that you could actually mix two things together and get one thing out. Um, mm -hmm. It just seemed like there was so much order in chemistry. Mm -hmm. And then just always the excitement of the new thing and you're doing something that no one's ever done before and you're making something that no one's ever made before. So now and you were, at it. Uh, before you came to Weimar, you were a researcher? What was that? A research a, scientist. Okay. So mm -hmm. that, I mean, you, your job <clears throat> was to research chemical compounds? We worked, um, I worked for, in the pharmaceutical industry, mm -hmm. and so we were doing drug discovery. Uh, mostly I worked in um, looking at, first I looked at anti-cancer drugs. Mm -hmm. um, I did my postdoc at Sloan Kettering, mm -hmm. and there we worked on a, a developing a synthesis of a compound that had been isolated off the shores of the Zambezi River. Oh my. Um, and making that, and it turned out it was a very good anti-cancer drug, and they used it to treat, or it's in development right now, to treat um, cancers that are resistant to frontline cancer drugs like Taxol. Mm. So, now, now, I also uh, remember reading somewhere that you, you have uh, some patents. Are there, is that what's involved yeah, in those things? Yeah, of, that's one of the patents I have is on that, on that drug. Um, and then some other ones when I worked in, uh, later in, in industry, in the pharmaceutical industry, we have some patents from some antibiotics that we worked on. So you've been here, what now, just a few months, you've, you came in this summer mm -hmm. of 2010, and you're into the classroom now. Now you've done some teaching before, so how do you like the teaching thing? Because that's being a little different than a research scientist. Right, but it's, there's still, um, there's still the excitement of teaching someone else what you know mm. and seeing the light bulb go on and they see that, well, it's it makes amazing, sense. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so that's, that's exciting still, too. So, in your teaching, then, um, how is the challenge? <clears throat> now, you weren't raised as a Seventh day Adventist. You no, came into the I, message. I was, in, I was doing my postdoc when I was baptized. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother was Seventh-day Adventist, though. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so there was a bit of a history mm -hmm. and you knew about it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <clears throat> and so when you took your classes, you didn't necessarily learn about chemistry from a spiritual perspective. No. So, but now you're, that's what you're doing. You're mm -hmm. teaching chemistry. From, how was that transition, making that transition into thinking about chemistry from a spiritual Are you finding connections? Oh yes, there's definitely connections. Um, I think it will, is something that will continue to grow, and mm -hmm. as I continue mm -hmm. to teach my classes, it's going to become even better, um, seeing, the, seeing God in chemistry. Mm. Um, we've already had some experiences in class, and I don't know if it affected the students as much as it did me, <laughs> but um, seeing, just seeing how God and the kingdom of God and how it can be like things mm. in chemistry. Mm. So do you have any examples you could um, give us? Or? Well, one thing we were looking at, some people might be familiar with um, light and how light can behave or how matter can behave like light and it can behave like a particle. And, how, and so there's like wave particle theory. Mm -hmm. And so you think also of Jesus. Jesus was totally God, mm. but he was totally man. And so you can't, you can't totally de define it just like um, light. Is light a particle or is it more like waves? And so, so it seems like when you measure it as a wave, it is a wave. Uh -huh. If you measure it as a particle, particle. it, it is, is a particle. But and it we can't look be at, both or we don't think it can be right. both, but it is. And mm -hmm. so Jesus says, I am the light. Yeah, and Jesus was totally God, but Jesus got hungry and thirsty and tired. 
So in that way, he was like a particle, but he's God. He's like a wave because mm -hmm. he's, he's wow. God. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Great. And I'm sure there's all kinds of lessons that come out of that. Now, the, the science and, and uh, um, you know, I, I have a letter here from your, uh, <coughs> one of your previous professors who just is uh, singing your praises. And we, mm -hmm. we had, we'd collected this and thinking about hiring you. And after we got this, it was like, uh, okay, well, there, there's no question about her qualifications. He cites uh, articles that you've written that are still cited and cited by all kinds of people. Anyway, some really seminal pieces in, in your field. Uh, those are wonderful things. Uh, let's move just a little bit to your, uh, your relationship with God, your dedication. Um, I heard at some point that you know something about a rise and some guy named David Ashrick. Right, yeah. Um, after, um, I worked for a company and then when you're working in the pharmaceutical company, you learn that your position is not secure like you thought it was, that mm -hmm. security is an illusion. And uh, they um, paid us all to leave. And so I took my check and I went to a rise. Um, just mm. God opened the door for me to go to Arise, and I went. I was in the first class mm. at Arise in Michigan. And so, how was that experience? What What was it that drove you to move from a a, a research scientist to a a student in an evangelism program? Well, ever since I was baptized, it was really something I wanted to do, and I wanted to do ministry. Um, but I already had a PhD in chemistry, so what do you do? Um, I prayed about it a lot, and and. And God just, I was going to do something else, go somewhere else. And then it was just like God opened the door and I had my, I had my what boat in the water, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And then God just directed it toward a rise and I ended up going there. And it was, it was really a blessing. So this, this got the idea of evangelism in your blood. Mm -hmm. And now you're just have this idea, I need to minister. And you right. know. so now you're here at Weimar and... Uh, some of the activities, what are, you know, each of the faculty members, we want to be involved with uh, frontline ministry and working with the students side by side. How have you chosen to do that and work with the students? Um, well, when I went to Arise, part of the training was canvassing, and I'd never done that before. You know, I'm, I'm got a PhD, I'm out going door to door, knocking on doors, <laughs> asking people to buy books, and um, it was a good experience then, and I thought, you know, I could go out with the students and do some canvassing so, this semester. So, so. Are, you, are you telling me that you go out week by week? Yeah, I've gone out with the students and, canvassing. And you, and you guys go door to door selling books. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. Right. Hi, I'm Dr. Harris. I say hi, my name is Christina, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm working with some students from Weimar uh, College. And helping them raise funds. So mm -hmm. you make extra money on the side? Is that what you no, do? No, it all goes it, to help students. To, and, so the Worthy Student worthy Fund. Student and help. Fund. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Is any, any interesting experiences in doing that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's hard. But then mm -hmm. you think, oh, Lord, if I hadn't have gone out, I wouldn't have met this person. I wouldn't have met this right. person. I wouldn't have met this person. And there's always just so many I'm trying to think of a specific example. Um, some great stories, though. Coming a out. lot of good stories in going out. Um, I did meet a guy that was a devout atheist. Mm -hmm. um, and he said that uh, he was talking and, well, he recognized that I was a Christian when I came to the door and he sure. asked me if I wanted a drink. And I said, <laughs> I said, no, that stuff will kill you. And uh, I started to follow him out to his car. He was going to go get something. And I said, well, I'll just follow you. He said, I'm just going to get another drink. And um, he goes, well, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. And I just said, well, do you, of everything there is to know in the world, do you know everything? And he said, no. I said, well, then what you mean to say is that you're an agnostic. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he agreed with me that, yes, he was probably an agnostic, um, but he really didn't think God existed. Mm. And I just said, I'm going to pray for you because um, God is, he's going to be after you. He wants you. Amen. And, um, Amen. Yeah, so, just lots of experiences. Some neat experiences mm -hmm. that you don't want to trade. Right. So the, and, I, and I know I've talked with the students. They really appreciate uh, the ministry you do side by side, it's, it's uh, quite a blessing mm. to them. Yeah, it's, they're a blessing to me. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up too much time. Uh, I appreciate you taking a few moments to come and, uh, and join us here. Uh, thank you for spending your time to get to know Dr. Christina Harris.